So there I was, face to face with the biggest, meanest leopard in the jungle, and you roared so loud, it spots for clean off. I heard the story a million times, Dad. Uh, do you know the one where I made the monkeys behave like babies? Yep. The python attack? I heard that one too. Okay, let me think. Yeah, you do that. Alright, Ryan. Here's one I know that you haven't heard yet. It all starts in a place I like to call... The Wild. They were the fastest wildebeests in the wild. What are you fast? All the other lions had to give up hunting hours ago. Except for yours truly. But I knew they were about to come. I thought I had them. Until the dust cleared. The wildebeests have formed an ambush. So what did you do next? What did I do? That's why I unleashed. The roar! You mean that's it? Not quite. I only thought it was over, but they had a powerful ruler. He was the meanest wildebeest I have ever seen, almost as fierce as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. A Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yes. He was very aggressive and very mean. He hates lions. In order to finish the job, I know I was gonna have to stay strong, as strong as I ever thought I'd be. So I swallowed my fear, dead in the deepest breath I could. Damn, I'm ready, you guys. I got it. I got it. The last moment. Raw son. That was a very impressive wall back there, Samson. Why, thanks, Jemima. I really do appreciate that. Some story that was, Your raw dishes everyone else a man is dead. Mine just makes everyone laugh. Come on, Ryan, that was much better. I'm serious. I jumped out of an octave. I knocked down an octave. But it never scared me. Just made my ears stand up on end. Yeah, right, Dad. But I think I've done enough for today. No, no, Ryan, you were this close. Perhaps it's something technical. I gotta go. Everyone else in my enclosure needs me. I was wondering, actually. If we really want to roll like you, Dad, can't we go to the wild? Look, Ryan, we're fine here at the zoo. It is better this way. But, Dad, I'm never gonna learn how to roll here properly. But I did find a way how we could get so wild. You did? The picture said the green box is gold. Ryan, those boxes for packaging are bad news, so stay away from them. But Dad... Look, I know you're a little upset, but a lion can find his roar here. <laughs> Excuse me, I am not a rat. Rats have not got bling like that. Oh yes, good idea, Betty. Hide in Santa's enclosure, not mine. I don't believe this. Betty, were you stealing candy from children again? I'm sugarcoating it, man. Stealing is such a strong word. I prefer deliberate. Anyway, I heard the roar. So, you ready to catch another fish trade till the colonel die, guys? I can't roar properly. How do you even know I'm there? Ryan's probably jumped an octave. I never knew that. What the heck is an octave? I heard that! Starving. Well, I don't know about you, but I'll stick with the nuts. I don't know what Ryan's problem is, Benny. He's 11, but he's still growing your 9 year old level. Plus, Susan, don't you get tired to tell your son the same stories about your life in the wild? Poppycock! He always loves those stories. They inspire him. Okay, you can. I'm not gonna hire you to someone to use my tail as dental floss. Attention guests, stop by to get shot and get the most popular person in New York, the I Like You Koala Bear.
Okay, Samson, so everything's all clear. Sign the alarm, Jemima! I'm on it! Okay, hold your horses, I'm coming! Me too, here I come! Ha! Boom, baby! As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Who's ready to rock and roll? Dig in! Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama oh, I love to rock out, pal. Hey, everybody. Let's all get the show on the road. Yes, I agree, Larry. Let's do this thing. So easy, Nigel. I agree with that, Trevor. We'll wait till Samson catches up with us. Well, now you mention it, Justin. Where is Samson? Sabrina, do you see him anywhere? Relax, Wilbur. Jemima said that Sansa's talking with Ryan at the moment. So, Jemima, I'm going to ask Bridget out. Finally. Ooh. I see that. But you're a squirrel, and she... Perfect, right? I know what you're trying to say, Jemima. Believe me. Oh, hi, Bridget. Don't stare at my spots, Betty. My eyes are up here. <laughs> oh, sorry. I kind of forgot. I thought we might go on a date tonight. Betty, only the female Oliver Spider would dare a male one tiny of a size. And she eats him. And the good as is, Betty. He dies happy. Let's, Let's go, go get right, dude. dude. Dude, you said at the same time! Dude! Hey! Orion! Listen, I'm heading over to the polar bear pad. You're gonna see me there, right? Come on, Ryan, we need you! You're our biggest fan! You were saying, Dad? Look, Ryan, about what happened this afternoon, I was just trying to. Yeah, I'm fine! I'll go to your game. Okay. I'll see you there then. Hey, dude. Guess who's here? Duke Ease, I know it's you guys. What I tell you, Ease, he always guesses it right. Which is off to date the gazelles while everyone's at the polar bear pen. So, are you in? Sure, count me in! My nature. That pole best catching more fish than the others in this competition. You're my kind of guy. Mine too, Trevor. That's just the way we like it. Right, Jemima? I just hope the other polar bears don't catch more than him. Besides, we've already put our bets on him. Right, Sabrina? That's a little too far, Nigel. Guys, we cannot lose a bet. Besides, we never lose a bet. We always stay focused. By the way, is that what's in Ryan? Oh, I know. Maybe he's still sucking in the dead because it isn't his father's shadow and he brought like a schoolgirl. Yes, thanks for the information, Larry. And speaking of schoolgirls, just look at them. And what I hate more than those monkeys are those annoying koala toys. 
These are so ridiculous. A toy is a toy, Nigel. Get used to it. Next year, I should just coach. Check it, the Thompson Gazelle. 0 to 50 in 4.5 seconds. The ultimate fleeing machine. There is no substitute. Let's get a closer look at these slim jeans. Shall we? I think we shall. But there's just one thing. Oh, what's that, dude? Shouldn't I get their attention first? Sounds like a great idea to me, Ryan. I knew we'd win that bet! Yes, well, but we knew that Polar Bear was going to win. And now the next challenge is about to start, called The Secret Play. Oh boy, The Secret Play! The next challenge is The Secret Play! Like, don't you know what the important part is about The Secret Play? I do, Bridget. It's supposed to be kept a secret. But which one of us is going to do it? Just leave that challenge to me, guys. And I'm gonna need double effort from you lot. The best of luck, Samson. Alright then, here I go! Shh, quiet! Careful, dude. I'm trying. Uh oh. Now you did it, Ryan! Run! I did it! Thank you! You're too ca- What the heck? No! Stampede! I went out of the way! Oh, you just have to be joking me! I did say I'd come to the game, didn't I? There's nothing funny about that! You just attention everyone in the zoo! I'm sorry! Sorry for what? Chasing the gazelles or costing us the polar bear games? I- All you did today was soak all day! If you just- Just what's the matter with you? Was all this because you can't roar? Ryan, I didn't mean to- you know what I don't suck in our den? Think how great it'd be if Sasson and Wild wasn't my father. <gasps> right, I am so sorry. So that wouldn't be Ryan the Lame a whole lot easier. Ryan, I'm sorry. Uh, Ryan, please don't. Don't leave. What have I done? Why is it no one ever listens to a squirrel? <sighs> I just don't know what to do anymore, Benny. I tried everything. So you're saying you tried everything, is that it? What? What are you saying? I'm just saying I had to go and talk to him. Maybe tell him the truth. I don't think I could do that, Benny. I mean, what's he gonna think of me when he finds out? I don't know. But if we don't talk to him, Am I losing, Sam? Where could Ryan have gone to now? I was wrong! I don't want to go! Ryan? Help me! 
Hold on, I'm coming! Dad! Get me out of here! No! Ryan! Sasson, what just happened? Ryan's been taken away in a green box on the truck. We need that truck followed. So what do you want us to do, Samson? Benny, we gotta go talk to Amir. Now let's go find the pigeons. Okay, Samson, that we can do. Uh, Benny, I need it till Friday before I am paying you. Never mind that, Amir. It's Ryan. He's trapped in one of those green boxes and he's taken away in a truck. That is not good. Not good at all. Hamir, just tell us where the green boxes go. The green boxes go to the airport where there's a statue of a woman with spikes on her head. I am sorry for this. I really am. No. No. Well, but you're always saying that. If you keep on saying it, no one's listening. You're like a broken record here. So anyway, Samson, when do we leave? There is no way, it's just me. Now listen very carefully. This is now a rescue mission and I'm the only one going. But Samson, we're your friends. We want to come too. Just as right. Besides, we're not afraid. Are we guys? Afraid? No, no. You know koalas. More like, uh, scared of things. I never turn a nightmare about taxidermy and spot remover. You know, there's this one famous koala who once said, We'll fight them. With peaches! Yes. Anyway, so we're helping. Whatever it takes. So you always should leave with me, huh? Even if you don't mind being hunted down, shot at, stuffed, or worse. Then fine. You forgot to mention being turned into a rug, Samson. Which I'm sure would never happen. Well, they're gonna have to catch us before they can stuff us and I'm fast. Then stay well with me at all times, alright? Yeah, sure thing, Sam. Okay, let's do it, guys. Yeah, Benny, let's do it. I was too much gonna fit in this. Don't worry, I can fit in this perfectly. Are you sure about Careful, this? everyone. Okay, so here's my overall plan. Uh, where we're we going? I only have until 10 to 5 before Ryan is taken away forever. But that doesn't mean I don't worry about the 9 of you. Hello. So, is everyone here? Wait, where's Benny? Where is he? Wait, I thought he was already with us. Well, I don't see him anywhere, Trevor. Okay, that's not good. Guess I sure must have took it off before Benny could get on board. We probably shouldn't let him get on the truck first before the rest of us. Great! Guess we'll have to find the airport without him. This is our stop. Wow! Well, I wasn't expecting New York City to be huge, but this is massive. Yes, you're telling me, Trevor. This city is massive. Guys, would you get over here this instant? This is very important. Okay, now what did Benny say? A couple of lefts, a couple of rights. Bridget, do you see the airport anywhere? Yes, I'm looking, I'm looking, but I can't see it anywhere for a change. Well, look at the bright side, guys. The airport can't be too far now, can it? Yeah, and I know why they call it the city that never sleeps. Yeah, because it's busy, and there's no telling where the airport is. Come on guys, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. 
Wait a second. Does everyone hear that? Oh, look, dogs. Should be fun for Samson. Everyone run! No! I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running! Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick! Just that how do you think that makes me feel? Samson, you're supposed to chase them off! Hey, it's all part of the plot, okay? This maneuver is known as the Jungle Slip. It's page 16 in the Wildlife Playbook. Turn! Samson, what do we do now? Uh, page 17. Samson, look, they're going the way. Hey, she's right. Go on, you mutt, stupid dog. We could have taken you. Taking you to, uh, to a disco. Larry, that's not helping. But well, but there's so many of them. Okay, first a pack of stray dogs, and now a gang of alley cats. Okay, everyone, stay calm. Think of something quick, Samson. Look, there's the airport. Follow me. The right up, Bridget. The way over me too, girls. Yeah, me too, Trevor. Finally, the airport. Just turn right for me. We found it, Samson. Let's go. We found it, Larry. Let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Are you sure this is the right place? Any place where all a gang of alley cats try to attack us. And with our pack of stray dogs try to attack us as well. Yeah, this must be the place, alright. Hey, Sasa, have you found the statue yet? I finally found it, guys. I'm so proud of you. Yep, this is the place, like Hamir said. And it's quarter past four already. Which means we're tad short on time. Look guys, we know that the box right here is green. It's a wallace place, so we have to- It's right! So we should shut up until we find a box that looks exactly like the ones over there. They haven't left yet. Let's get on that plane. Come on team, let's go. I'm coming. Yes, we're coming! Hey, Nigel, follow us! Don't panic, I'm coming! Let's go, Sabrina! Relax, Wilma, I'm coming! Come on, Larry! Yes, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving! Quickly! Everyone get on board this plane! No one seems to be on this plane! Samson, are you sure this is the right plane? Wait for me! Benny, you're back! You guys can't leave without me. Do you think I'll let you all have all the fun? We're just glad you managed to catch up with us, Benny. Wow, what heck have you been? Benny, is that you? Hey, Samson, use this plane to follow that other plane. Benny, you made it! And are you sure it's a good idea? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. 
Okay, hang on guys. I go to use this plane to follow that other plane. Everyone lock yourselves into these containers. We'll be saving these during this flight. Way ahead of you, Wilbur. I think some of us will stay out of the containers. I'm with you, Jemima. And I'm with you, Bridget. And I'm with you, Betty. I'm with you too, guys. Well, I'm with Wilbur and Sabrina. Hey, this plane's moving. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. Please stay in your containers at all times if you wish. Enjoy the flight! Alright, get ready to hold on tight, guys! Why? What's happening? We're about to go for a boost, guys! But I don't even know what a boost is! It means we're ready for takeoff! Hold on tight, everyone! I think I got it! Well, it's happening guys! We're finally flying! Yes, Jemima, I can already feel the vibration underneath me. This isn't so difficult! I'm the Lion of the Sky! Roar! Great job, sir! Cutting out our team and our captain of the flight! Well, we better get some rest during this flight. Bet you didn't know I can lead through buildings, eh, Bridget? Oh, please. And now there's only one thing, guys. That we're going into the wild now? Yes, Larry, we sure are. Very tempting. It hardly weighs. I can't take it anymore! It's hard to this lesson! <laughs> Stop, lovers, you solid twits! Because you are. Because I'm lying, sir! When the ice cream goes lily, the crew are the urge of mutiny! <laughs> if you don't give us ice cream, sir, quick, you're gonna want the plank, sir! Nigel, this is an aeroplane. So Nigel, pull yourself together. I don't care if I drowned, I wish we were on land right now. That's exactly what we're doing now, Nigel. Brace yourself, guys. We're about to land. So hold on tight. Whoa, what's happening? I think we're all lying, Wilbur. Sabrina's right. Ah, about time. Wow, thank goodness. Oh yeah, baby. We've been banned! Permission to get off the plane, sir! Guys, look. You're right, Samson. Gosh, it's been like a lifetime since you've been here. Yes, a lifetime.
What's all this? Oh my gosh. I knew it. The center of the green box is back to the wild. No, not really, Trevor. They put the animals inside the green boxes. I just don't understand why. Well, I don't understand that either, Benny. It's like a tunnel, tunnel dimension, can't you see? They go in, they come out. No, it isn't, Nigel. Pretty pathetic, huh? Well, there's gotta be an explanation for this. Oh, I'm pretty sure there is, Wilbur. <laughs> you think it has something to do with that? What is it, Larry? Oh, sugar. A volcano? So either I'm starving or lies making sense? Larry's right. Those animals are being rescued. There's another green box approaching. Uh -huh. <gasps> Ryan! We gotta go after him! Let's go! Ryan! Ryan, are you there? Ryan, where are you? Samson, don't worry! We'll find him! Jemima's right, Samson. You just got to use your instincts. So, Samson, did you find him yet? Where did he go? Wait a minute. I found him. I think I got Ryan Sands! Come on! Sure, Samson. I'm right behind you. Yes, me too, Samson. Right behind you, Samson. Wait up, guys! I'm not designed for this! I want a car! <laughs> Ryan must be in those bushes. Ryan! Wait a minute, you're not my son. Where is he? Did he come through here? Although I think about it, he did come through here. Hello? Call up, baby lion. Your dad's here. Well, what do you know? There's a whole pride of lions down here. Oh, no. I think you picked up the wrong animal, Samson. Jemima's right, Samson. We thought you had lion scent. Guys, don't blame Samson. He hasn't been in the jungle for quite a long time now. Trevor's right. Besides, I thought I had Ryan's scent, but my predator is this Mr. Kitten says, you know I haven't eaten for a while. And I haven't eaten for a while yet either, but my predator instincts haven't kicked in yet. Of course, there's no telling when your carnivore instincts will kick. Excellent. Fantastic. We get to see the legend in action. Come on, guys. We don't have time for this. Sure you have time, Samson. You could just swallow him whole. Just figure speech. What was right, Samson? Let's get to the ground. Fine. <gasps> I think he's about to do it, guys. Oh, I just can't bear to watch. Well, I'm watching. Well, sure, Sabrina. You are a tiger after all. No, I won't. Huh? The king of the jungle rejects his dinner. Wasn't expected to see that happen. What's wrong? I'm not good enough for you to eat or something. No, it's just I have an allergic reaction to nuts. Oh, now I get it. You get a toy with me, bait me up a little, then pounce just when I get my hopes up. Oh, how exciting. Oh, Assassin, show a continue searching for your son. I'm not finished with you. I am a delicacy. What's this? Fruity, what don't? Hey! Watch it, rodents! That's Samson the Wild you're speaking to! You call this wild? He's a cowardly lion! You are in big trouble, Mr. Oh! The elephant got mad at me! My bears are hiding behind the koala bear for protection! What are you, a netwit? Ignore him, Nigel! He's a fibber! I'm leaving! Run for your lives, everyone! It's a lion with moral issues! And I've had it with you, too! 
Samson, there's one thing that really bothers me. The Hyrax this afternoon, it was almost like you didn't want to eat him. Yeah, what about earlier this morning back home, with those dogs and cats? You didn't scare them off either! So therefore, there's one thing that really gets us, Samson. Just as right, Samson. If we didn't know you better, we'd say that you're- They are lying who's a vegetarian? No, Larry, that wasn't what we was going to say. What we're trying to say is... It's almost like as if... Wait a minute, Samson. Were you just like... Ryan? Well, you're right. I too was born in captivity. So you were fraud this whole time? Yes, I'm a bad lion. The truth is I can't protect you lot out here. Sam, where are you going? Just go back and guard the plane. I got to find my son. Betty, please tell us we're not in a dangerous jungle with an 8 inch squirrel protecting us. Actually, Bridget, I'm 9 inches. And to tell the truth, yes we are. That doesn't that mean... We are going to die! Yes! But you're not packing it already! But Sabrina, why would Samson lie to us? We're his best friends! Why? He probably lied because he was scared to tell us the truth! Maybe we should just go back to the plane and leave Samson forever. That's a good idea. Fierce, the proud, the wild, Bridget, rubbish! Bridget, if you leave, I... I break it up with you. But Betty, all Samson ever did his whole life was lie to us. Why shouldn't we leave? Yes, why would you still care for him, Benny? Look, I know we're disappointed, but at least we have each other. Samson's got nobody. Benny's right, guys. Samson's out there on his own. And so is Ryan. So I'll split into two groups, okay? Jemima, Trevor, Justin, Wilbur, and I will help Sansa find Ryan in the west. And the rest of you try to find Ryan in the east. Alright, Sabrina, you convinced us. Yeah, you also convinced me too, guys. But let's go, folks. I thought I told you a lot to go back and guard the plane. Look, Samson, we understand how you feel, but we want to come with you. Besides, we're a team, aren't we, guys? Well, sure we are, Trevor. I was split into two different groups in order to find Ryan. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. If that's how we're going to do it, then that's how we have to do it. Now let's get some sleep. We got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Well, Samson, I just hope we'll find your son in time. Don't worry, Trevor. We'll find Ryan. Besides, how big can this place be anyways? Samson, you do realize that this is a jungle. So it's very big. There's water everywhere. Well, Justin, we'll have to go across the river eventually. And yes, you're taking the lead and you're way in front of us, Wilbur. Come on, Sabrina. It's Samson's idea, not mine. It's all I'm sure I have to take if we're going west. Yes, I know, Samson. I know. Always, we should continue searching for Ryan. I know, Trevor. I know. I just hope that little guy's okay. Guy, you lost too, huh? Oh, a bloodthirsty monster! I can explain. I would never do that! I'm sorry, I'm not that kind of koala bear. Wait, it's Mono already? Why didn't anyone tell me? 
Excuse me, but do you speak koala? You speak a koala? <sighs> no? <gasps> Could you possibly not go towards the big smoky thing? A strange place for a party. Hi. What's for breakfast? I'm having a I'm having a Why don't you ask? They're frighteningly horrible monster beasts. They're not bad dancers. As a girly, I like you. Stay kick it, walk, walk, walk. Oh, I still can't even get that right. But I'll go there. <laughs> ah! Who are you? Ayakazar, leader, prophet, choreographer. Oh, I see. And thanks to your kind, carnivore. No, don't kill me. I've had such a weird life. It's not fair. Huh? There's still no sign of Ryan yet. Why am I so nervous? Nothing to worry about, Jemima. I'll just have to use my instincts. Yes, follow your instincts. Sarsen, did you hear that? Yes, I did, Trevor. What was that? Uh, Samson, I think we're starting to see things. Did anyone see that? Just what is that? That must be my instincts. I guess that's what we're going to follow then. It's taking us into that cave it is! I can't go in there. Well, Sabrina, it's worth to check it. I agree with Wilbur. Let's go. Okay. Okay, team, let's go and follow my instincts. Where'd it go? I don't know. It keeps changing. Guess that's where we're going. This place is so dark. Yeah, you telling me, Sabrina. This what the? What's this? We never saw that before. It's a painting of a lion fighting a wildebeest. So, what do you think that's all about then? It must be some kind of prophecy that only one chosen lion can fight against the leader of the wildebeest. My, my. I wonder who it will be. Oh, we need to go back and search for Ryan. This place is huge. Hey. There's a lion cub. We gotta tell Kazar. It's my turn to tell him. Did I say that out loud? No, you're a awesome. No, I did. Oh, yes, you're dead. I just hope Nigel's awake this time. He's been asleep all morning. Nigel, you better be awake this time because we've been going in circles. Because of you. Nigel. Nigel. Nigel, where are you? 
Oh no, this is terrible! First, we lost Ryan, then Sansa, Jemima, Trevor, Justin, Wilbur, and Sabrina, and now Nigel! I know we should stay in the zoo! I know we should stay in the zoo! I know we should stay in the zoo! Guys, don't panic! We're still together, aren't we? And that's why we're panicking, Betty! Relax! We can work this out, okay? Yeah, well, now it's time for a change of plans! But for your lives, everyone! Why, well, I know what we can do! We can ask those guys! Those guys? Well, apart from the horns, they've got, uh, hooves, you know, for grazing, right? But Benny, they could have us so evilly! For once, Bishop, I think you're right. <laughs> well, thank you very much, but I have to go! Koala bears that they be some hot superiors, so if I could spend the rest of the afternoon... My captive audience. We've watched our brethren perish in the claws of the big cats. But now we will be about to turn the tables. We can't proceed without the guidance of a koala bear. Well, yes, uh, I should say so. There are those who doubt us that you are the koala to be chosen. <laughs> but I always believed in the omen. Ah, the omen. Right. Remind me again? It was set down by the gods years ago. Well, whoever the owner is must be... <gasps> oh no, not you! Great koala, you blessed me with a transformation from herbivore to carnivore. Wait, so I the great koala? Were you not paying attention? The great koala? Correction. So, this is all your fault! That's it! You're rotten! Cause ah, I've got some news to tell you, boss! Lucky you. No, boss, I got some news to tell you! The phones! Can't you see busy talking to the great koala? But boss, we found a lion cub! Then why didn't you say so? What's with a male and a lion, an elephant, a grizzly bear, a zebra, a rangatango, and a tiger? So you brought two lions and five other animals with you, great koala? Well, like any great him, I travel with an entourage. Blag! Yep. Bring the lions and the other animals here, and don't screw this up like you're screwed up my test number! This isn't fair! Oh, let's go for war first, boss! Stack, kick, kick, walk, walk, walk! Fall! Why do you have a bar rehearsing? But a good chorus line is so hard to put together. <laughs> you! Go! Take to the skies! Yes, boss, we're taking! Alright, Blag! Find them! Yes, sir! Now bring me those lions! Holy moly! And now you'll be their king! <laughs> So tired. Well, look who's here. Come to Papa. <laughs> oh, that's a fiery trap. You only have two options: come with us or meet your fiery end. Uh, help me. Samson, that sounded like Ryan. You're right, Jemima, and he's in danger too! Hey, no kid, Samson, we gotta help him! Come on! Hang on, kid, we're coming! <laughs> Dad? 
don't you go near my son! Whoa! Stand back, everyone! It's a river of lava! And so it is! Okay, now that is too fiery for us! Okay, I admit it. That does look a bit dangerous down there. And plus, I'm afraid of fire, you know? Like all tigers? Yes, Sabrina, and the good news is we managed to find Ryan! Ryan, are you okay, my son? Dad, you won't believe what a disaster this was! I was trapped in one of those green boxes, and then I escaped, I was lost in the jungle for a whole night, but now those vultures came and they tried to attack me! You wouldn't have been afraid! Ryan, your father has something to tell you. Never mind that, Sabrina. I think I hear something else. Hey, what's that in the distance? Oh no! Wilder beasts! What? Wind beasts? No! Wilder beasts! Oh. Wilder beasts! Come on, Ryan, let's go! Everyone else, distract them! You should be chasing them like you used to! Those are just stories! We'll hide under the bushes! Why must we do this? Quiet, Ryan! All oh, they hear us! <sighs> We've lost them. Dad, I don't see what your problem is. You defeated them before, didn't you? No, Ryan, I never did, and I never came from the wild. What did you say? <sighs> I was a lot like you, but also a coward. Ladies and gentlemen, Samson, stop bears as a scaredy cat. Just take care of it. Way on leashes. The roar! I can't do it, Dad! It's not gonna be any different. Enough! Now do it! The world of beast, clear out to the savannah! <laughs> Very tacky. If only you'd been born in the wild. Dad, please don't let them take me! After they brought me to the safety of the zoo, I never wanted anyone to know where I came from. Especially you, or your mother, or my friends. I should have told you back home. So that's why you're not from the wild? Ryan, I'm sorry that I made up all those stories back home. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I need to crush you. Run, Ryan! Find the rest of my friends and get to the plane quickly! You're not going anywhere, kitten! Blag, finish off the other one! Yes, sir! Uh, uh, uh. Dad, watch out! Ryan! No! It's too late, lion cub! You're coming with us, along with your friends. That was funny. What is this? Where are we? This must be the wildebeest's lair. There goes my ticket out of here! Yeah, I definitely agree with Trevor. But look! There's the rest of our friends! Benny, Bridget, and Larry! You three are here too? <laughs> Ryan, you're alive! Oh, Ryan, we missed you so much! Yes, we came here with your father to find you! And I just hope he'll come here to save us. I wish he could, but... Those wildebeest pushed them off a cliff last night. They did not, did they? I don't think he made it. Oh, Ryan. 
We're so sorry to hear that. The prisoners are awake, boss! And they should be black. And now I'll look at the great koala. Well, there should be. It's completely unharmed. Uh, what? Who are you two? We can't tell you. It's top secret. So we're, of course. Poisonous reptiles. No, I'm Cog. He's Camo. We're COVID agents. Cog, don't you ever mention that we led him into that cave yesterday. So you two led me to that cave yesterday? Why? The world will be sticking your son and all your friends in life are current lair, and they think your koala friend is a god. So that's what happened last night after they knocked me off that cliff. Listen very carefully. You're the only one who can stop the world from slaughtering the other animals. I can't. I'm not a real lion. And I never will be. Ha, You are a real lion. It doesn't matter where you're from. It's in your heart and blood. That's what makes you a real lion. And your friends need you. And so does your son. You can do it. You're right. I must swallow my fear and dig deep. <coughs> Show me the way. We'll have to save my son and all of my friends. All right. But it's not gonna be easy, though. So who is this king we're about to face? No one knows Benny, but I'm sure I can take him on. And don't forget guys, we all came from New York City. Guys, I wouldn't find out if I were you. Why? What's the matter, Jemima? Is that who I think it is? Wait a minute, that looks kind of like... Nigel! No, it can't be. Nigel, I don't know why you're siding with these guys, but I'm going to make you pay. My word against yours. A lot of good animals are probably gonna die because of you! Silence, both of you! You do not speak to me! Nigel, what's the big deal? Why are you torturing me? Nigel, this isn't like you at all! Why would you do this to us? Sabrina's right! You're acting like a traitor! Besides, Nigel, you can't be the king. He ain't got the spine for it. So why don't you stop what you're doing, Nigel, and reconcile yourself for once? Great koala, it is time to have breakfast. Uh, quick question. What is for breakfast? All nine of them. Oh no, we're doing that too, we're doomed! Oh, great. Eat friends and be God. Don't eat friends and run for your life. God, friends, God, friends, God. Uh. If you don't give us ice cream very quick, you're gonna want the black sir. Nigel, this is an airplane. So Nigel, pull yourself together. I don't care if I drowned, I wish we were on land right now. Ah. 
I just what have I become? Now get ready to burn them. No, wait! Is there a problem, Great Koala? Uh, yes. We cannot cut them without, uh, onions? No, I think not. Onions are for those on the bottom of the food chain. Whew, guess that she's finally come to her senses, huh? Okay, we'll forget the onions. Uh, then, shouldn't we have hats? I really don't understand what's going on here. Is he trying to create a distraction? Do we not have breakfast hats while having breakfast? Therefore, I want mine! Give me strength. And while we're having breakfast, we must all... <laughs> it's Samson! My dad's alive! Well, it's about time you came to save us. What? How are you possibly still alive? Let my son and my friends go! Now we will see which one of us is on top of the food chain. And it'll never be you. Dad, be careful! Let me scratch that for you. You can beat him, Samson! Hurry, Samson! Go for the desert! Oh, hurry up, Samson! That wildebeest leader is tougher than we thought! He's gonna kill Samson if we don't do something! Now this I definitely can't bear to watch! I've got an idea! One of us needs to distract the High Priest! Why don't we do it in the style of the secret play? Larry, we told you that's supposed to be a secret! No, Justin, it's an excellent idea! But which one of us is going to put it in action? I don't know, guys! Time for me to swallow my fairy dig deep! I'm not afraid of you and your kind anymore. They laughed at me when I spoke with the omen, but look who will be laughing now once you're on the bottom of the food chain! No! You're doing it! No, it's a first me! Ryan! I'll squeeze you like a tit! Keep your hooves off my son! Ryan, are you still with me, son? Please, talk to me. It's okay, Dad. I just wanted to know. I'm sorry you never had a good dad, like the one I have. Oh, Ryan. <sighs> Very touching. <laughs> But the last words usually are... FINISH THEM OFF! WHAT?! 
And I told you to attack them! Like real predators! We're sick of being something we're not. And we're sick of you. And we're sick of that. So be it. I'll just have to kill her myself. Dad, remember what you told me in your stories? I know. I must swallow my fear and dig deep. was awesome! Yes, son, it really was. This is a minus well, we better get out of here. Right behind you, Dad. Time to go home. You're right there, Jemima. Yeah, let's go. I'm right behind you. Yeah, me too. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on, everyone, let's leave this place. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, everyone, we're leaving! Yes, we're coming! Yes, run like the treasures you are! I will have revenge! Everyone, to the airport! I will always be on the top of the food chain! I will always be... Ah! Okay, so everyone's on board, we can finally get out of here! Get ready for takeoff, folks! We're ready! Well, this is it, everyone. We're going home. Yes, I don't agree, Trevor. Well, this is it, Wilbur. Yes, Justin, it really is. Time to go home, Larry. Yep, all time already. I hope this is worth it. Don't worry, Ryan. We'll be at the sky shortly. Hold on, everyone. Okay. Whoa! At least I saw the wild before it disappeared! I can still see it, Ryan. It's right here. Well, I found my roar. We both did, son. So this is basically the first story of Assassin and Ryan the Wild. I don't think anyone's gonna believe it. What do you smile about? That I no longer get to see that annoying stuffed koala? Which reminds me. Hey! I'm having a really nice day, really nice day, really nice day. Stack gig left! Really nice day, really Stack gig right! Really nice day, really nice Splendid! Stupendous! Bravo! Well done! Well done! Are you guys sure about this? Well, Bridget, you may be smart and clever, and I kind of appreciate that. Then that's just why I kind of like it, a man. You mean. Oh yeah, baby! So, Amber, you still can't call me your kitty? Now that I most definitely agree on, Sabrina! Well, everyone loves a happy ending! That is gonna be a long flight home! Stab, kick, kick, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, I did it!